welcome to part C of part 3 of this video. Again, uh, if you haven't seen part 1 and 2, A and B I should say, um, or part 1 and 2 of this series, um, I recommend you go back to that. I had the link at the beginning of this video for, um, for the unboxing and for uh, the previous part which talked about some of the bugs that I've come across on this device. So, um, and again, just, even if you don't go back to a thing, just in short, it's just little software glitches that will be worked out in time. It's nothing, nothing against this tablet that can't be fixed just by an update or whatever. Um, and some of them might be. I don't know yet. Like I said, and I installed some drivers today, and they might have fixed it after all. So anyway, I was going to talk about the a uh, little bit more about the functionality and give you a little bit of a demo of the thing. Um, now the the main thing, obviously, is we'll go into the hardware part of it first. But the main thing is that it's a 11.6-inch um, monstrosity of a tablet. I mean, this thing's huge. It really is. Just going on the hardware of this thing against uh, any other device there, that this is pretty big. Um, the, the surface, people say about being pretty large at 10.6-inch, which is one inch smaller in diameter, or diagonal. Um, dimension as this thing is in a lot of the Windows RT and Windows 8 RT, uh, Windows 8 tablets are closer to the 10.1 inch. Uh, for me, the only reason why I wouldn't necessarily want something this big is first of all portability. Uh, the weight's not really an issue at all. I, I haven't come across that being a problem with this thing in my use of it. Um, if I wanted something that would slip in my pocket or something like that for quick use, obviously it's not it. Um, but for my usage there, that the bigger screen helps me a lot. Uh, it is a big, it is a big display on this thing, um, and uh, with that, uh, you would think that the battery wouldn't be that good. But that's the only reason I don't have a problem with the size is that the battery does last a long time. That it took, I get about two days out of a charge. So like, um, let me bring the desktop back up um, and obviously as I'm doing all this you can see how fluid this thing opens and closes things and switches. Um, unfortunately the only place you can look at the battery is in the desktop uh, side of it. You can't see it um, based off of this. You, you kind of have a graphic um, like that but you really don't have a percentage so you have to go down to this side in your traditional Windows desktop and click on it. Oops, I didn't want to bring that up. Um, I'll get to you later. Uh, so you have this thing down here that's percentage remaining. Unfortunately, they got rid of it. Appears in Windows 8 the uh, time left, which kind of reminds me of Vista on one of my old laptops. They didn't have it on there either, and then it came back for seven. So maybe in Windows 9 they might have it, or maybe there'll be a patch for it in Windows 8. So um, the battery isn't bad. I pulled this off the charger. Uh, I guess about maybe 11 o'clock this morning or 10 o'clock this morning. Yeah, about 10 o'clock this morning and it's 10 o'clock at night. So uh, 12 hours later and it's only lost a quarter of it and I've been using this thing on and off all day. Um, especially with this review that I've had it on. So, and uh, just prior to it, that's why I have a couple programs open down here is that I was being productive while I was waiting for the other <laughs> videos to upload to YouTube. Um, so obviously the battery's not bad. I get about, like I said, at least two days out of it with maybe about six hours, eight hours each day, moderate use. So the battery isn't bad at all to me, guys. Uh, that's not a deal breaker in this case. It's, it's supposedly, by the um, specs online, it's one hour longer than the Microsoft Surface RT with the ARM chip. So considering this has a Atom processor in it, their dual core at that, two gigs of RAM and 64 gigabyte um, EMMC drive in this thing, all being powered, um, and this big a screen for that matter, it isn't bad whatsoever. Uh, that's a huge plus to me. Um, so anyway, um, let's go back to the start screen. Obviously it comes up pretty fluidly on that. Um, and the screen, let me bring up the brightness just to give you an idea. This is, I don't know if you can see that it, that's all the more of the length, um, how far up I have the brightness. If I crank it all the way up, you get something that's pretty bright. Um, I haven't tried it out in the sun yet, but um, I believe it's probably pretty bright. And obviously it goes pretty dim, too, for your night viewing. Um, so I usually keep it kind of low anyway, just to save the battery. Um, so 
that's not bad either. Um, let me do the graphics side of it. Uh, open up Bing Maps here. Here's a map of northern Arizona. We have the Flagstaff right in the middle where I am. Um, I just wanted to show you that all, it's although it has a pretty good processor and obviously the internet's kind of the failing point in this case with the drawing things, but um, it's pretty responsive. Um, does have a little bit of delay, but uh, considering it doesn't have a whole lot of graphics here with the map or anything like that, like let's go into Phoenix, just zooming in and everything, it's pretty responsive. It really is, but um, there's some times when you start loading it up there that obviously it starts having problems. Like if I bring up the um, the uh, aerial view of it, um, that obviously starts, you know, maybe not. It was a uh, early on issue that isn't a problem anymore. Um, but obviously it's 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 still pretty good. It's got a little bit of delay, it starts taxing a little bit, um, but nothing I would say that's a deal breaker for this thing. So very responsive. Um, the maps necessar aren't necessarily the best because they, you have to have internet connection to download them. Since this thing doesn't have 3G built into it, obviously you can't use it on the road uh, unless you have an actual dedicated like Delorme or Garmin or something like that on this thing, um, which you can do since it's full Windows 8. So I'm going to go ahead and close that, which is another example of how fast this thing can process. Um, so yeah, let's go on back to the desktop. And in this case, uh, as of this point in time, uh, Office 2013 has not been released, so there's 2013 preview, which is what I have currently right here. And so I'm able to multitask on this thing. Then I have PowerPoint going over here for one of my capstone or for my capstone project. And then I have a Word document over here um, that uh, obviously you can do a lot of stuff. It'll dock just like it is used to be. I can bring that up. I can drag it over there. And obviously the graphics keep up with me pretty well. Um, let me go back to the um, start menu. Let me open up to something something like Messenger, and I'll go ahead and use the multi-function of this device. That obviously you lock it in on that side and bring it up there. But to fully work on things, you can split it three ways. Then, and that's what I like about the screen this large, is that not only do I have a Word and a PowerPoint together, so I can write the Word document. But also I have my instant messenger over here that I can still use to write people. So I wound up splitting the screen three ways, um, which is great to me. I love that fact. Um, and obviously it's able to keep up with what I'm asking for it pretty quickly there. So um, performance is really good on this thing. Um, I haven't had any problems with the RAM maxing out. It averages about, um, let me bring it up, it averages about maybe half used or something like that each time. Um, the, of course with the cool new, yeah, and unfortunately it's, even with all that, that's kind of proof right there how well this thing moves that um, and I'm malware has something going on. So a quarter of the uh, CPU is getting used by it, probably an update or scan, while I was doing all that for you guys. And obviously the memory still isn't getting taxed out very much. Um, but that's the new uh, Windows Task Manager too, uh, so two birds with one stone. So anyway, obviously it can respond pretty well, and it's doing other stuff. So it's it it's not the most powerful tablet you're going to find out there, but it's certainly not lightweight either. Um, and that's what's good about it. I like it. Um, let me go ahead and bring up for the speakers here. Uh, I'll go and bring up YouTube real quick. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear the little bit of click going on. And I just wrote .com like 50,000 times on it. Um, but, uh, that little click is a really nice feature to me at least that you can um, you can hear it um, and it's responding since it's a, a digital keyboard on it. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my last uh, vlog. If you don't haven't seen those before, go go watch them. It's kind of cool. Um, and there's it's an ad, but listen to the sound. Yeah, 
that's only 50% volume right there. And it's, it's still that loud. And I mean, I have my head next to it, sounds, so it sounds really loud, but... Granted, my vlogs aren't exactly the most loud ever, but... Um, let me go ahead and change that. I'll pause it, and I'll bring it up. Oh, 240. I don't know why YouTube's that way recently. Um, let me go ahead and blow it up to full screen. And there's your 720p video right there. Um, I haven't tried 1080, but the internet doesn't even work around here. I recognize that guy. Who's that guy? He looks familiar. I, I can't imagine. Location looks kind of familiar too, like... Oh, I don't know. Maybe back there. <laughs> but obviously, there's your 1080p video. So, it does really good with it. Pretty good graphics, maybe not the sharpest, but my videos aren't necessarily the best either to be comparing that with. But there's your case in point with volume and the video right there being really good. And I watched a about 25 minute video on the ABC um, app watching one of those shows and only dropped it 3%. So the battery lasts a long time even doing something like that, guys. It's it's really good. I'm, I'm genuinely impressed with how well this thing works. Um, overall, the battery life and everything, it's really good. So, um, I don't know what else to say about this thing. It's just really good. I mean, obviously it's able to still carry on. The, let me go back over to the Windows um, Task Manager here. And it might even be... No, it looks like it's pretty much done with it. Um, the, uh, it might have even still been doing the um, the NMLware stuff uh, while I was watching that video. So, obviously, really, really responsible system. Um, I highly recommend it. I'll do one more video with my final thoughts on it, so it'll probably be about four or five minutes or something like that um, of overall expectations, good, bad, ugly, no ugly in this case. Um, but yeah, so there's here's the device right now. Uh, so uh, I'll give you a link at the end of this video. Um, you know the drill if you've seen the other two already. Um, at the end of this video, I'll give you a link to the conclusion of this review, as well as uh, links back to the unboxing and the first startup of this device uh, videos, if you want to go back and look at those. So, um, thanks for watching this one, and we'll see you in part D.